Hello. In this episode, we will explain the major effects and hazards caused by tropical cyclones. These include high winds, heavy rain, storm surge, overtopping waves, swells, and more. We all know that tropical cyclones sometimes bring heavy rain when they approach Hong Kong. However, even if a tropical cyclone has already departed from Hong Kong, it may still bring us inclement weather. On 19th of October 2016, tropical cyclone Sarika moved into Beibu Wan. The northeast monsoon was then affecting the eastern part of the Pearl River estuary, while the western part of the Pearl River estuary was affected by the southerly airstream in the outer circulation of tropical cyclone Sarika. The converging zone between them was located over the Pearl River estuary. This facilitated the continuous development of convective activities and caused prolonged heavy rain and thunderstorms in Hong Kong. When a tropical cyclone is located to the southwest of Hong Kong and a ridge of high pressure or an anticyclone is located to the northeast of Hong Kong, there would likely be a converging southeasterly airstream in the vicinity of the Pearl River estuary, which will cause severe convection and rainstorm. On that afternoon, an intense rain band covered the urban areas of Hong Kong Island and Kowloon. The heavy rain caused serious road flooding and traffic was severely disrupted. Locally, a daily rainfall of more than 100 millimeters of rainfall was generally recorded, and rainfall in the urban areas Shatin and Taipo even exceeded 200 millimeters. The observatory also issued the black rainstorm signal for the first time in October. When multiple severe weather activities occur simultaneously, this may result in the superposition of their effects. For instance, when a tropical cyclone brings high winds and rainstorms at the same time, causing many leaves or debris to flurry to the ground, this will lead to blockage of the entrances of the drainage systems. The flooding thus caused could be more severe than when the two phenomena occur individually. On 8th of October 2021, tropical cyclone Lion Rock edged close to Hainan Island. Its outer rain bands persistently brought widespread heavy rain to Hong Kong. The observatory issued the black rainstorm signal for the second time ever in October. Lion Rock also caused persistent strong winds over the territory on that day. The observatory issued strong wind signal number 3 in the morning. There has been a particular period of time when the strong wind signal number 3, the black rainstorm signal, the landslip warning, the special announcement on flooding in the northern New Territories, and the thunderstorm warning were all in force concurrently. Multiple hazards occurring simultaneously caused rather deteriorated road conditions on that day. Another major hazard brought by tropical cyclones is the storm surge. The onshore winds of tropical cyclones are the main cause in rising water levels, while their low air pressure is the secondary cause. When storm surge occurs during an astronomical high tide, the rising seawater will more likely cause flooding in the coastal and low-lying areas. The magnitude of storm surge is affected by different factors. Generally speaking, tropical cyclones, which have stronger, lower air pressure or faster movements, will bring larger storm surges. Furthermore, bag-shaped bays, such as Taipo Kao, will favor the accumulation of seawater and will more likely have a larger storm surge. In Episode 2, we introduced the maxim that the combined effect of autumnal typhoons and the northeast monsoon will make the wind stronger. On 13th of October 2021, Tropical cyclone Kompasu skirted to the south of Hong Kong. Under the combined effect of the northeast monsoon, the isobars near the coast of southern China and the northern part of the South China Sea were very packed. With Hong Kong located within the dangerous semicircle of Kompasu, local winds were greatly enhanced. This combined effect also increased the impact of the storm surge. Water levels at the Victoria Harbour and the Tolo Harbour rose more than one meter above the normal tide level, while the maximum sea level was more than three meters high. The storm surge also caused flooding in the Singmun River in Sha Tin and other districts. In autumn, when Hong Kong is affected by the northeast monsoon, especially on days of high astronomical tides, a storm surge brought by a tropical cyclone will more likely cause flooding. On 16th of September 2018, tropical cyclone Mang Kut battered Hong Kong, rendering the issuance of the hurricane signal number 10 by the observatory. 
Mang Kut was characterized by its extensive circulation, ferocious winds, and fast movement. It generally brought the highest winds in Hong Kong in over three decades. The maximum 60-minute mean wind speed then recorded in Waglan Island and Changchao were ranked second highest. Mang Kut brought the most severe storm surge to Hong Kong in many years, causing widespread damage in Hong Kong. The water level in Hong Kong generally rose more than two meters, causing serious flooding in coastal and low-lying areas. The, wa the water level at North Point and Taipo Kao were both the highest recorded since the Typhoon Wanda in 1962. Five of the six tide stations of the observatory measured a record-breaking storm surge. The Waglan Island Tide Station even suffered such serious damage as to lead to the loss of records. When tropical cyclones hit the coastal regions, they bring huge waves pounding against the shores, which may surpass the seawall and form overtopping waves. As the storm surge brought by tropical cyclones will cause the sea level to rise, the overtopping waves will intrude the coastal regions more easily and cause flooding. During the passage of Mang Kut, serious flooding occurred in many local coastal regions due to the storm surge, together with overtopping waves and backflow of seawater. Many coastal areas suffered different levels of damage. Looking back to some of the typhoon disasters that caused the highest casualties in Hong Kong's history, such as the typhoon of 1874, the typhoon of 1937, and typhoon Wanda in 1962, they were all due to severe storm surges. All these tropical cyclones adopted the track of making landfall close to the west of Hong Kong. The dangerous semicircle plus onshore winds caused a large storm surge. Research has shown that climate change will cause warming and expansion of seawater, as well as melting of the ice sheets. The general rise of the sea level will increase the chance and risk of storm surges. The coastal regions will be more easily flooded. Winds blowing on the sea surface will produce waves. The stronger the winds, the higher the waves. When strong winds persist over certain sea surfaces, the waves generated will propagate to far distances. We call them swells. The propagation speed of swells is much faster than the moving speed of tropical cyclones. When a tropical cyclone is very far away from Hong Kong, its circulation hasn't yet affected the territory. Generally, the weather will be fine with light winds, which may easily make people less alert. But swells produced by tropical cyclones might have already propagated to Hong Kong. When swells enter shallow water regions, their height will increase. There is a Chinese proverb that says, three-foot wave without wind. So never underestimate the potential danger brought by swells. There have been many cases in the past where swells have caused casualties in Hong Kong. One recent example was on 31st of October 2018, when tropical cyclone Yu Tu entered the South China Sea. Its location was still over 700 kilometers from Hong Kong, yet the swells on the beach caused the drowning of a surfer. Hence, we should pay attention to the weather forecast. When the observatory forecast swells, the public should stay away from the shoreline and stop engaging in water sports. It's time to say goodbye again. I hope that after watching all six episodes of this online video course, you've already mastered a general knowledge on tropical cyclones and are better prepared for the coming of the next typhoon. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.